Hey guys, welcome back. Today is day 15 of my Christmas horror challenge, and today we're going to get uh, this movie. Uh, I mean, I love it. I loved it when I was a kid. Yes, I watched this probably at a really young age, but you have probably saw what it is. So today's pick is <clears throat> Jack Frost from 1996. Uh, I was like 11 when this came out, and I believe I watched it around that time. So, uh, I think I remember watching it on TV when it was edited. So, again, probably was not, shouldn't have been watching it, but whatever. Um, but I do remember um, renting the, the VHS from the video store back in the day as well. So, I have, I have seen both the TV cut and then the regular cut of the film. So, yeah. Anyway. This is directed by Michael Cooney, uh, 89 minutes, uh, there's not a rating on here, but I believe it was, I think it was R when I watched it back in the day, uh, starring Scott McDonald, uh, he does the voice of Jack Frost, uh, Christopher Alport plays the sheriff, uh, Shannon Elizabeth, uh, was in, was in this film as well, I don't think this was her first film though, but it's, Apparently it's one of her most infamous and revealing roles, but if you guys have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, a couple other char couple other actors I don't recognize by name. Uh, so, synopsis here. On his way to be executed, uh, the vehicle containing notorious serial killer Jack Frost collides with a hazardous chemical truck, turning Jack into a snow-covered mutant and unleashing him on the unsuspecting town of Snowmonton, the snowman capital of the Midwest. Jack immediately takes advantage of his newfound freedom and blizzardy abilities to seek revenge on the bungling sheriff played by Christopher Alport that accidentally ended his cross-country killing spree. On his way to the sheriff, Jack terrorizes the snowman-themed town and murders its residents on a variety of winter winterized ways. Can the residents of Snowmonton fight back against the psychopath snowman from hell, or will they all end up in a snow-covered grave? Well, to quote Jack Frost, well, it ain't fucking frosty. <laughs> oh, this movie cracks me up every time I watch it. Um... So yeah, I mean, I'll show you the back. You can't really see anything either way. The infamous scene with Shannon uh, Elizabeth is right there, but she's covered up. So he pretty much, uh, yeah, he accosts her in the shower, and then you guys know what else happens in there. Um, but they try to they they try to kill him using like a hair dryer, like you see right there. And uh, yeah, <laughs> this movie is ridiculous. Uh, this is put up by Vinegar Syndrome, as you can see right there. There's also a, a newer version released by MVD, so you can also get the sequel from MVD, but you guys saw that in one of my last updates. There is reversible artwork here. This is a combo pack, Blu-ray and DVD, and you can see Jack happy and then mad. Happy, mad. Um... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't actually get this with the lenticular slipcover when it came out, but my brother has it, so that's cool. So yeah, highly, highly recommend checking out Jack Frost if you haven't seen it before. Um, technically, this is a Christmas movie because there's like decorate, uh, there's decorations in the background. You can see all the, um, what the heck is it called? draw on the blank here but you know what I mean like the it'll come back to me after I end the video of course but there you go there's decorations in the background so anyway guys take care and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 16 and I'll probably do a bonus video I'll probably shoot a bonus video tonight and I'll drop it in the morning but we'll see I did some thrifting on the way home and I found some cool stuff so stay tuned with that so See you guys later.